famous man once said, we create our own demons. Who said that? What does that even mean? Doesn't matter. I said it because he said it. So now he was famous and basically getting said by two well-known guys. I don't, uh, I'm going to start again. Let's track this from the beginning. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in the blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Like him inside and outside. Blue his house with the blue Till the ball drops. Tony Stark, great speech, man. I gave a speech. How was it? Metaphor. Unintelligible. Really? It's my favorite kind, winning combo. Where are we going? Uh, to town on each other, probably back in your house. Okay. I also want to see your research. Okay, you can see my research, but that's. I'm not going to show you my town. Mr. Stark. Oh, Jensen. Oh, I finally met a man called Hope. <laughs> I would like to. Introduce you to our guest, Dr. Wu. Oh, this guy. Mr. Stock. Hey. You know, you're a heart doctor. She's going to need a cardiologist, that's right. Perhaps another time. It started in Bern, Switzerland, 1999. The old days. I never thought they'd come back to bite me. Why would they? Oh, wow. Hey, Tony. Aldrich Killian. Uh, I'm a big fan of your work. My work? Who is it? He means me. Well, of course, but... Miss Hanson, my organization's been tracking new research since year two of MIT. Yeah, we're full. Oh, wow, we made it. Made the cut. What's where you going to, pal? Now, that is an appropriate question. The ground floor, actually, of a proposal I'm putting together myself. It's a privately funded think tank called Advanced Idea Mechanics. Uh, she'll take photos. Uh, one to throw away and one to not call. Advanced Idea Mechanics, or AIM, for short. Do you get it? I see that, because it's on your T-shirt. Ladies, follow the mullet. Ladies first. Thank you. I'll call you. I'm titillated by the notion of working with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, these clowns. I'll see you up on the roof in five minutes. Just gonna try to get my beak wet real quick. You know what I'm talking about? See you up there. Damn betcha. Come on. I thought that was just a theory. Yeah, it was. If I'm right, we can access the area of the brain that governs repair wow. and chemically recode it. That's incredible. Essentially, you're hacking into the genetic operating system. system of the exactly. living organism. Yes. Is that, can, you, is, can you not touch that? The, it's not, she doesn't like it. She prefers it. She's not like the others. Better. Come on, let's go in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Hi. Leave her focus alone. Because, I'm not seriously talking about For now. Well, it's human application. Exactly, exactly. Dendritic revitalization. Disease prevention. Even more micro. You're the most gifted woman I've ever met. Wow. In Switzerland. Mm, that's better. Wow, you're that's seeing weird. things. <laughs> you almost bought it, didn't you? This is what I'm talking about, the glitch. Have you checked the Telmer's algorithm? The what? We're good. Let's go. You are cutting your nails? Yeah, we're good. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
What was that? It's a glitch in my work. It's... Glitch. She was just talking about a glitch that's happened. It's not Y2K. Hey! Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy All right. New Year. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, can I? You good? Yeah. Oh, thanks. You're outside. Okay, cool. Antonio's because I had just created demons and I didn't even know it yeah those were good times and I moved on after a brief soiree in an Afghan cave I said goodbye to the party scene forgot that night in Switzerland these days I'm a changed man I'm different now. I'm, well, you know who I am. Ow. Sir, please may I request just a few hours to calibrate nope. for you. Ah! My repeater implanting sequence complete. As you wish, sir. I've also prepared a safety briefing for you to entirely ignore. Which I will. All right, let's do this. Dummy. Hi, dummy. How did you get that cap on your head? You earned it. Hey. Hey. What are you doing out of the corner? You know what you did. Blood on my mat. Handle it. Sir, may I remind you that you've been awake for nearly 72 hours? Focus up, ladies. Good evening, and welcome to the birthing suite. I am pleased to announce the imminent arrival of your bouncing, badass baby brother. Start tight and then go away. Stamp it in time. Mark 42, autonomous prehensile propulsion suit test. Initialize sequence. Jarvis, drop my needle. I think we got this. Send them on. Probably a little fast. Slow it down. Slow it down just a little bit. security is a long time between siestas. Didn't think it could get any worse. Then I had to go and turn on the TV. That's when he happened.
Some people call me a terrorist. I consider myself a teacher. A miracle. Ready for another lesson. In 1864, in Sand Creek, Colorado, the U.S. military waited till the friendly Cheyenne Braves had all gone hunting, waited to attack and slaughter the families left behind, and claim their land. 39 hours ago, Ali Al Salam Air Base in Kuwait was attacked. I. I, I did that. A quaint military church filled with wives and children, of course. The soldiers were out on maneuvers. The braves were away. President Ellis, you continue to resist my attempts to educate you, sir. And now you've missed me again. You know who I am. You don't know where I am. And you'll never see me coming. Now that we seem to be back, let's recap some of the frightening developments. American airwaves were hijacked. Tunisia remains on a fire alert. to find the Mandarin had so far proved unsuccessful. Central to my administration's response to this terrorist event is a newly minted resource. I know him as Colonel James Rhodes. The American people will soon know him as the Iron Patriot. And how is President Ellis responding? By taking the guy they call War Machine and giving him a paint job. Same suit, but painted red, white, and blue. Look at that. And they also renamed him Iron Patriot. You know, just in case that the paint was too subtle. It tested well with focus groups, all right? I am Iron Patriot. Listen, War Machine was a little too aggressive, all right? This sends a better message. So what's really going on? Commander. Seriously. Can we talk about this, Commander? It's classified information. It's all Okay, there have been nine bombings. The public only knows about three. But here's the thing. Nobody can ID a device. There's no bomb casing. You know I can help. Just ask. I got a ton of new tech. I got a prehensile suit. I got, I got, I got bomb disposal. Catches explosions in the air. So last time you got a good night's sleep. Einstein slept three hours a year. Look what he did. People are concerned about you, Tony. I'm concerned about you. You're gonna come at me like no, that? No, look, I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick. Do you mind sending the drawing? If Richard doesn't mind, you are right with this? <laughs> yeah. Dick. Fine with me. What's your name? Erin. I'd love to in a Christmas story, by the way. Listen, the Pentagon is scared. After New York, aliens come on. They need to look strong. Stopping the Mandarin is priority, but it's not, it's not superhero business. No, it's, it's not, not, quite frankly. It's American, American business. Swiss it again. Okay. Book the crime. Are you okay, okay. Mr. Sir? Take it easy. Tell me. How did you get out of the world? You, Ben, Tony. Check that, check that. Is it the brain? No sign of cardiac anomaly or unusual brain activity. Okay, so it was poison? My diagnosis is that you've experienced a severe anxiety attack. Me? 
Come on, man. This isn't a good look. Open up. Sorry, I gotta split. Badge. 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 Badge, guys. I put a memo in the toilet. Come on. Tony has got them in his basement. They're wearing party hats. This is an asset that we can put to use. Uh-huh. So you're suggesting that I replace the entire janitorial staff with robots. What I'm saying is that the human element of human resources is our biggest point of vulnerability. We should start phasing it out immediately. What? Excuse me, Bambi. Hello. Did you just say that? Security? Happy. Okay. Yes. I am thrilled that you are now the head of security. Okay? It is the perfect position for you. Thank you. However... I do appreciate it. Since you've taken the post, you don't have to thank we've me. had a rise in staff complaints of 300%. Thank you. It's not a compliment. It's not a compliment. It is a compliment. Clearly somebody's trying to hide something. I, excuse me. Yes. Miss Potts, your four o'clock is here. Did you clear this four o'clock with me? Happy. We'll talk about this later, but right now I have to go deal with this very annoying thing. How so? I used to work with him, and he used to ask me out all the time. It's awkward. I don't like the sound of that. Pepper. Killian? You look great. You look really great. God, you, you look great. I, I, I can't. What on earth have you been doing? Nothing fancy. Five years in the hands of physical therapists. And please, call me Aldrich. Uh, you were supposed to be issued a security badge. Be happy is okay. Yes. We're good. You sure? Yes. Stand okay. down. I'm gonna like it Thank right you. here. Okay. It's very nice to see you, Killian. Merry Christmas. After years dodging the president's ban on immoral biotech research, my think tank now has a little something in the pipeline. It's an idea we like to call extremists. And I've turned the lights down. Regard the human brain. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. That's, that's the universe. My bad, but if I do that... That's the brain. Strangely mimetic, though, wouldn't you say? Oh, that's amazing. Thanks, it's mine. What? This, you're inside my head. It's a... It's a live feed. Come on up, I'll prove it to you. Come on. Now, pinch my arm. I can take it. Yeah. Pinch me. <gasps> what is that? It's the primary somatosensory cortex. It's the brain's pain center. But this is what I wanted to show you. Now, an extremist harnesses our bioelectrical potential, and it goes here. This is essentially an empty slot, and what this tells us is that our mind, our entire DNA, in fact, is destined to be upgraded. head of security what yeah look i got a real job what do you want i'm working i got something going on here what arresting yeah. interns let me tell you something you know what happened when i told people it was iron man's bodyguard they would laugh in my face <laughs> i had to leave all i say a shred of dignity 
Now I got a real job. I'm watching Pepper. What's going on? Call me in. For real? Yeah. All right. So she's meeting up with the scientist, rich guy, handsome. Right. I couldn't make his face at first, right? You know I'm good with faces. Oh, yeah, you're the best. Well, so I run his credentials. I make them. Aldridge Killian. We actually met the guy back in, where were we, in 99, the science conference? Um, Switzerland. Right, right, exactly. Killian, no, I don't remember that guy. Of course you don't remember. He's not a blonde with a big rack. First it was fine, they were talking business, but now it's like getting weird. He's showing her his big brain. His one? Big brain. And she likes it. Here, let me show you. I love it. See? Look at what? You watching them flip the screen, and then we can get started. I'm not a tech genius like you. Just just trust me. Get down here. Flip the screen. Then I can see what I they're doing. I don't have to flip the screen. Like, don't talk about that anymore. You're not my boss. All right? I'll work for you. Now, I don't trust this guy. He's got another guy with him. shifty. Relax. Seriously? I'm just asking you to secure the perimeter. Tell him to go out for a drink or something. You know what? You should take more of an interest in what's going on here. This this woman's the best thing that ever happened to you, and you, you, you're just ignoring her. A giant brain? Yeah, there's a giant brain. There's a shifty character. I'm going to follow this guy. I'm going to run his plates, and I'm going to... If, if it gets rough, so be it. I miss you, Happy. Yeah, I miss you, too. But the way it used to be... Now you're off with the super friends. I don't know what's going on with you anymore. The world's getting weird. Hey, I, I, I hate to cut you off. Do you have your taser on you? Why? I think there's a gal in HR who's trying to steal some printer. You should probably go over there and zap her. Nice. Imagine if you could hack into the hard drive of any living organism and recode its DNA. It would be incredible. Mm. Unfortunately, to my ears, it also sounds highly weaponizable. Exactly. Enhanced soldiers, private armies, and Tony is not... Tony, Tony. You know, I invited Tony to join AIM 13 years ago. He turned me down. But something tells me now there's a new genius on the throne who doesn't have to answer to Tony anymore and who has slightly less of an ego. It's gonna be an L. Aldrich. As much as I'd like to help you. Well, I can't say that I'm not disappointed. And as my father used to say, failure is the fog through which we glimpse triumph. That's very deep. Mm. I have no idea what it means. He was kind of an idiot. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you again, whatever. Happy. The car's ready if you're ready to go. Yes, I just, um, God, I forgot my other things, so I'm just gonna. Sorry, I'm late. I was. What? The, what is that? You're wearing this in the house now. What is that? Like Mark 15? Uh, yeah. Something like that. You know, everybody needs a hobby. Oh. And you have to wear your hobby in the moving room. Just breaking it in. You know, it's always a little pinchy in the gooey bag. Of the <laughs> Well, hey, did you see your Christmas present? Yes, I did. I, I don't know how I could have missed that Christmas present. Is it going to fit through the door? Well, actually, uh, it's a good question. I got a team of guys coming tomorrow. They're going to blow out that wall. Okay. So, uh, tense, good day. Huh? Ooh, shoulders a little naughty. Naughty girl. 
I don't want to harp on this, but did you like the uh, custom rabbit? Did I like it? Well, Nailed it, right? Wow. I appreciate your thoughts very much. So why don't you lift up that face mask and give me a kiss? Ping pong. Beep, beep. Huh. Yep. Damn it. No can do. You want to just kiss it on the... Uh, uh, facial slit. Well, why don't I run down to the garage and see if I can't find a crowbar to jimmy that thing out? Mm -hmm. Crowbar, yeah. Oh, I can accept that there's been a, uh, uh, a radiation leak. I'll take my chances. That's risky. At least let me get you like a hazmat suit. You can Geiger counter or something like that. <sighs> Busted. <laughs> This is a new level of lame. Sorry. You ate without me already on date night? He was just... You, you mean you? Well, yeah, I just mean we were just... Just hosting you. Uh, while I finished up a little work. Uh-huh. And yes, I had a quick bite. I, I didn't know if you were coming home or you were having drinks with Aldous Killian. What? What? Aldrich Killian? What are you checking up on me? Happy was concerned. No, you're spying I on wasn't. me. I'm going to bed. Come on. Come on. That... Hey, I admit it. My fault. Sorry. I'm a piping hot mess. Been going on for a while. I haven't said anything. Nothing's been the same since New York. Oh, really? I didn't notice that at all. You experience things. And then they're over and you still can't explain them. Gods, aliens, other dimensions. I'm just a man in a can. The only reason I haven't cracked up is probably because you moved in. Which is great. I love you. I'm lucky. But honey, I can't sleep. You go to bed, I come down here, I do what I know. I tinker. Threat is imminent, and I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. And my suits, they're, uh... Machines. They're part of me. A distraction. Maybe. to happen. I'll recalibrate the sensors. Can we just get... Uh, just let me... Uh, just let me catch my breath. Hey, don't, don't go. Right? Come on. I see downstairs. Tinker with that. Thank you. 
regulate? Yes, I can regulate. Sure about that. Yes. Decent batch. You don't say I never did nothing for you. Thank you. God, I mean, for understanding. I'm sorry, buddy. Buddy? You out by yourself? A little date night? Seen your favorite chick flick, maybe? Yeah. A little movie called The Party's Over, starring you and your junky girlfriend. Here's the ticket. No kidding. That doesn't belong to you. True story about fortune cookies. They look Chinese. They sound Chinese. But they're actually an American invention. Which is why they're hollow, full of lies, and leave a bad taste in the mouth. My disciples just destroyed another cheap American knockoff. The Chinese theater. Mr. President, I know this must be getting frustrating, but this season of terror is drawing to a close. And don't worry, the big one is coming. Graduation. Hi. Oh. My little now. Sure.
Sun and Young's a PBS. Downton Abbey. That's just show he thinks it's elegant. One more thing, make sure everyone wears the badges. He's a stickler for that sort of thing. Plus, my guys won't let anyone in. We're awaiting the arrival of Tony Stark. We're hoping he'll give us the reaction, his reaction to the latest attack. Mr. Stark, 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 Mr. Is that what you want? Here's a little holiday greeting I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. I just didn't know how to phrase it until now. My name is Tony Stark, and I'm not afraid of you. I know you're a coward. So I've decided that you just died, pal. I'm gonna come get the body. There's no politics here, it's just good old fashioned revenge. There's no Pentagon, it's just you and me. I'm the off chance you're a man. Here's my home address 10880 Malibu Point, 90265. I'll leave the door unlocked. That's what you want, right? <laughs> Me. I've compiled a Mandarin database for you, sir. Drawn from S.H.I.E.L.D., FBI, and CIA intercepts. Initiating virtual crime scene reconstruction. Okay. What do we got here? Name is an ancient Chinese war mantle, meaning advisor to the king. The South American insurgency tactics. Talks like a Baptist preacher. Lots of peasantry going on here. Lots of theater. First, the heat from the blast was in excess of 3,000 degrees Celsius. Any subjects within 12.5 yards were vaporized instantly. No bomb parts found in a three-mile radius of the Chinese theater. No, sir. Talk to me, Happy. Any military victims? Not according to public records, sir. Bring up the thermogenic signatures again. Factor in 3,000 degrees. The Oracle Cloud has completed analysis. Accessing satellites and plotting the last 12 months of thermogenic occurrences now. Take away everywhere that there's been a Mandarin attack. One of his. It predates any known Mandarin attack. The incident was the use of a bomb to assist a suicide. Bring her around. The heat signature is remarkably similar. 3,000 degrees Celsius. That's two military guys. Ever been to Tennessee, Jarvis? Creating a flight plan for Tennessee. Are we still at Ding Dong? We're supposed to be on total security lockdown. Come on, I threatened a terrorist. Who is that? 
There's only so much I can do, sir, when you give the world's press your home address. Right there is fine. You're not the Mandarin. Are you? Are you? You don't remember. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Don't take it personally. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. Gluten-free waffles, sir. That's right. Okay, look, I need to be alone with you someplace. Not here. It's urgent. Normally, I'd go for that sort of thing, but now I'm in a committed relationship. With her. Tony! Is somebody there? Yeah, it's Maya Hansen. Old botanist pal. I used to know. Barely. Please don't tell me there's a 12 year old kid waiting in the car that I've never met. Him. He's 13. No, I need your help. But what for? Why now? Because I read the papers, and frankly, I don't think you'll last a week. I'll be fine. I'm sorry. With Happy in the hospital, I didn't know we were expecting guests. We weren't. It's an old no, girlfriend. I, she's not Listen, really. No, not really. I, it, it was just one night. Yep. That's how you did it, isn't it? It's a great yep. night. Well, you know, yeah. you saved yourself a world of pain. What? Trust me. <laughs> We're going out of town. Okay, we've been through this. Nope. Yeah. The man it's says no. Immediately and indefinitely. Honey. Great idea. Let's go. I'm sorry, that's Relax. a terrible idea. Please don't touch your bags. This is how normal people behave. I can't protect you out there. I challenge. Is that normal? Sadly. Yes, that... this is normal. Oh. It's very normal. The big bunny. Relax about it. Oh, no. I got this for you. I'm you still haven't like even that. told me you liked it. I don't I like asked it. you three. Uh, you don't like We are leaving the house. Guys, that is not even up for discussion. Do we, no. um... What? Do we need to worry about that?
Where's my flight power? Marking on it, sir. This is a prototype. That's the emergency alert triggered by the power dropping below 5%. Oh. <sighs> We are five miles outside of Rose Hill, Tennessee. 
Why? Jarvis? Not my idea. What are we doing here? This is thousands of miles away. I gotta get Pepper. I gotta... I prepared a flight plan. This was the location. Who asked you? Open the suit. I... I think I may be more functioning, sir. Open it, Jay. That's brisk. Maybe I'll just cozy back up for you. I actually think I need to sleep now, sir. Jarvis. Jarvis? Don't leave me, buddy. First off, I'm so sorry to put you in harm's way. It was selfish and stupid, and it won't happen again. Also, it's Christmas time, and the rabbit's too big. Done. Sorry. And I'm sorry in advance, because I can't come home yet. I need to find this guy. You gotta stay safe. That's all I know. Stole a poncho from a wooden Indian. potato gun. Barrel's a little long. Between that and the wide gauge, it's gonna diminish your FPS. And now you're out of ammo. What's this thing on your chest? It's a, uh, electromagnet. You should know. We've got a box of them right here. What does it power? Technically, you're dead. Valid point. What happened to him? Life. I built him. I take care of him. I'll fix him. Like a mechanic. Yeah. Mm. If I was building Iron Man and War Machine. Sign a Patriot now. That's way cooler. No, it's not. Anyways, I would have added in um, the retro... Retro reflective panel? To make him stealth mode. You want a stealth mode? Cool, right? That's actually a good idea. Maybe I'll build one. Oh. Not Oops. a good idea. What are you doing? You're going to break his finger? He's in pain. He's been injured. Leave him alone. 
Sorry. Are you? Don't worry about it, I'll fix it. So, uh, who's home? My mom already left for the diner, and Dad went to 7-Eleven to get scratchers. I, I guess he won, because that was six years ago. Hmm. Which happens, Dad's leave. No need to be a pussy about it. Here's what I need. A laptop, a digital watch, a cell phone, the pneumatic actuator from your bazooka over there, a map of town, a big spring, and a tuna fish sandwich. What's in it for me? Salvation. What's his name? Who? The kid that bullies you at school. What's his name? How do you know that? I got just the thing. This is a piñata for a cricket. I'm kidding. It's a very powerful weapon. Point it away from your face. Press the button on top. It discourages bullying. Not lethal. Just to cover one's ass. Deal? Deal? What do you say? Deal. Deal? What's your name? Carly. And you're... The mechanic. Tony. You know what keeps going through my head? Where's my sandwich? Secure server. Retinal scan verified. Paper, it's me. Got a lot of apologies to make and not a lot of time, so... First off, I'm so sorry I put you in harm's way. That was selfish and stupid and it won't happen again. Why were you at the house tonight? What was so important that you had to speak to Tony? I think that my boss is working for the Mandarin. So if you still want to talk about it, I suggest that we get ourselves someplace safe. Your boss works for the Mandarin, you think? But Tony says you're a botanist. Not figures. So. What I actually am is a biological DNA coder running a team of 40 out of a privately funded think tank. But sure, you can call me a botanist. This boss of yours, does he have a name? Yeah, Aldrich Killian. Well, we took the house down, sir, mm -hmm. but there's no sign of a body. I see. No stark. I have to go. <laughs> the master's about to record, and he's a little. Well, you know how he gets. Keep your appointment tonight and call me when it's done. everybody no talking and no eye contact unless you want to get shot in the face Well then, what are we waiting for? 
the sandwich was fair, the spring was a little rusty, the rest of the materials all made do. By the way, when you said your sister had a watch, yeah. I was kind of hoping for something a little more adult than that. <laughs> so sick. Anyway, it's limited edition. When can we talk about New York? Maybe never. Relax about it. What about the Avengers? Can uh, we talk about that? Later. Hey, kid, give me a little space. What's the official story here? What happened? I guess this guy named Chad Davis used to live around the bouts. Won a bunch of medals in the army. And one day folks said he went crazy and made, you know, a bomb. Then he blew himself up right here. Six people died, right? Yeah. Including Chad Davis. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Think about it. Six dead, only five shadows. Yeah. People said these shadows are like the mark of souls going to heaven. Except the bomb guy, he went to hell and kind of, he didn't get a shadow. That's why there's only five. Do you buy that? That's what everyone says. You know what this crater reminds me of? No idea. I'm not, I don't care. That giant wormhole in, um... In New York, does it remind you? That's manipulative. I don't want to talk about it. Are they coming back? The aliens? Maybe. Can you stop? Remember what I told you that I have an anxiety issue? Does this subject make you, make you edgy? Yeah, a little bit. Do Can you, I just catch my breath for a second? Are the bad guys in Moscow? Mm -hmm. Do you need Do you need a plastic bag to breathe into? Do, do, you, do you have medication? Nope. Do you need to be on it? Probably. Do you have PTSD? I don't think so. Are you on completely mental? I can stop. Do you want me to stop? Do you want me to Remember stop? Remember when I said I to stop, stop doing that? I'm sorry that you're going to freak me out. <laughs> oh, man, you did it, didn't you? You happy now? What did I say? Hey, hey, hey what's up? What's What the hell was that? Your fault. You spazzed me out. Okay, back to business. Where were we? The guy who died. Relatives, mom, Mrs. Davis. Where is she? Where she always is. See, now you're being helpful. Just, um... Thank you. This haircut sent you. Nice watch. Yeah, limited edition. Oh, I don't doubt it. Well, have a good evening. Davis? Mind if I join you? Free country. Sure is. All right. Where'd you like to start? I just want to say I'm sorry about your loss. 
I want to know what you think about it. I bought you damn flower. Take it. Go. Whatever was in here, he wanted no part of it. Clearly, you're waiting for someone else. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be tomorrow. Son didn't kill himself. I guarantee you, he didn't kill anyone. Someone used him. What? It's a weapon. You're not the person that called me after all, are you? Actually, I am. It is. And you are. Homeland Security. We good here? No, we're not good. <laughs> I need a little more information than that. Well, I think it's a little above your pay grade, Sheriff. Yeah, well, why don't you get on the horn in Nashville and uh, upgrade me? All right, you know what? I was hoping to do this the smart way, but uh, Conway's always good. Deputy, to get this woman. <laughs> When I've dated hotter chicks than you. That's all you got? Cheap trick and a cheesy one-liner. Sweetheart, that could be the name of my autobiography.
would you like for Christmas? Mr. Scott, I am so oh. sorry. Oh, no, 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 I oh. think he was trying to say, I want my goddamn file. It's not your fault, kid. Remember what I told you about bullies? Westworld. That's the thing about smart guys. They always cover our ass. something? Me saving your life. Yeah, A, saved you first, B, thanks, sort of, and C, if you do someone a solid, don't be a yutz, right? Just play it cool, otherwise you come off grandiose. Unlike you, admit it, you need me. We're connected. What I need is for you to go home, be with your mom, keep your trap shut, guard the suit, Stay connected to the telephone because if I call you, better pick up. Okay? Can you feel that? We're done here. Move out of the way or I'm going to run you over. Bye, kid. I'm sorry, kid. You did good. So now you're just going to loom here like my dad? Wait, you're guilt tripping me, aren't you? I'm cold. I can tell. You know how I can tell? Because we're connected. <laughs> It's affordable, it's gorgeous, it goes with any decor. What happened to picture? Go to Overlord. Oh, I don't know, it's an all of our receivers. Can I go on backup manual? Mr. Vice President, I think you should see this. God, not again. Is the president getting this? Only two lessons remain. I intend to finish this before Christmas morning. Meet Thomas Richards. Good strong name, good strong job. Thomas here is an accountant for the Roxon Oil Corporation. <laughs> and I'm sure he's a really good guy. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. <laughs> Live on your television in 30 seconds. No. Number for this telephone is in your cell phone. Exciting, isn't it? Imagining how it got there. America. If your president calls me in the next half minute, Tom lives. Go. How did he hack my phone? You can't allow terrorists to dictate to make this call. I'd strongly advise against them. This is the right thing to do.
There's just one lesson left, President Ellis, so run away, hide, kiss your children goodbye, because nothing, not your army, not your red, white, and blue attack dog can save you. I'll see you soon. Tell Rhodes, find this lunatic right now. Sir, we tracked the broadcast signal. We have a possible point of origin in Pakistan, and the Patriot is ready to strike right now. Yes, sir. straddling you and you look up and suddenly she's glowing from the inside out kind of a bright orange yeah i've had that who is this it's me pal now last time i went missing if i remember correctly you came looking for me what are you doing a little knock and talk making friends in pakistan what are you doing your redesign your big rebrand that was aim right yeah <laughs> I'm gonna find a heavy duty comm set right now. I need your login. It's the same as it's always been, War Machine 68. And password, please? Well, look, I gotta change it every time you hack in, Tony. It's not the 80s. Nobody says hack anymore. Give me your login. War Machine rocks with an X, all caps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That is. So much better than Iron Patriot. Very nice, very nice. I have one question for you. What would you like for Christmas this year? Well taken. We're broadcasting live from Mr. Sir, I don't know. He... Mom, I need to call you back. Something magical is happening. Tony Stark is in my van. Keep the van. Tony Stark is in my van. No, it's not. I knew you were still alive. Wow. Can I just say, sir? Yeah. I am your biggest fan. Okay, first, is this your van? Is anyone else going to come in? No, 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 just us. Okay. What's your name? Gary. Okay. Oh, my right wow. hair's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get a lot of this. It's okay. Oh, okay. Can yeah. I just say? What do you want? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I have, like, patterned my whole look after you. My hair's a little. It's not right because there's fine. no product in it. Right. I don't want to make things awkward for They're you, not. but I do it have to good. show you. Boom! Uh, Hispanic Scott Bale. I'm oh, sorry, is that me? Yeah. It's, I mean, I had them do it off a doll that I made, so it's not like it's off a picture. So it's a little bit the. Here, it took a through lot. This is me, okay? I don't want to clip your wings here. We're both a little overexcited. I got an issue. I'm chasing bad guys. 
trying to grab a little something from some hard group data files. I don't have enough juice. I need you to jump on the roof, right? Recalibrate the ISDNs, pump it up by about 40%. Got it. It's a mission. Yeah. Tony needs Gary. And Gary needs to be quiet about it. Yeah. Go. But you found a bomber, didn't you? Sold it to the man, you know? What happened? Fun fact. Before he built rockets for the Nazis, the idealistic Herne von Braun dreamed of space travel. He stargazed. Do you know what he said when the first V2 hit London? The rocket performed perfectly. It just landed on the wrong planet. See, we all began wide-eyed. Pure science. And then the ego steps in. Obsession and you look up, you're a long way from shore. You can't be too hard on yourself, Maria. I mean, you gave your research to a think tank. Yeah, but Killian built that think tank on military contracts. That's exactly what we used to do. So don't judge yourself. Thank you, Pepper. I really appreciate that. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Come on in. So you want to tell me why you were at Stark's mansion last night? I'm trying to fix this thing. I didn't know you and the master were going to blow the place up. Oh, I see. So you were trying to save Stark when he threatened us. I told you, Killian, we can use him. Pepper? Pepper? Pepper. Look, if we want to launch product next year, I need Stark. He just lacked a decent incentive now. He has one. Come on. 
This is support team Blue Zero sending coordinates for a suspected Mandarin broadcast point of origin. Copy. <laughs> Move. Support Blue Zero, unless the Mandarin's next attack on the U.S. involves cheaply made sportswear, I think you messed up again. Yes, you're free. Uh, if you weren't before. Yes, of course. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Iron Patriot on the job. Happy to help. No need to thank me. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Seven, I've acquired the Patriot armor. You want this suit? You're gonna have to pry my cold, dead body out of it. That's the plan, Colonel. Harley, tell me what's happening. Give me a full report. Yeah, I'm still eating that candy. Do you want, do you want me to keep eating it? How much you have? Two or three balls. Can you still see straight? Sort of. That means you're fine. Give me Jarvis. Jarvis, how are we? It's totally fine, sir. I seem to do quite well for a stretch, and then at the end of the sentence, I say the wrong cranberry. And, sir, you were right. Once I factored in available AIM downlink facilities, I was able to pinpoint the Mandarin's broadcast signal. What are we talking? Far East Europe, North Africa, Iran, Pakistan, Syria? Where is it? Actually, sir, it's in Miami. Okay. Kid, I'm going to have to walk you through rebooting Jarvis's speech drive, but not right now. Harley, where is he really? Just look on the screen and tell me where it is. Um, it does say Miami, Florida. Okay, first things first. I need the armor. Where are we at with it? Uh, it's not charging. <laughs> it is charging but the power source is questionable it may not succeed in revitalizing the mark 42 what's questionable about electricity all right it's my suit and then i can't i'm not gonna i don't want to oh god i can't <laughs> I didn't even mention New York. Right, and then you just said it by name while denying having said it. Okay, um, uh... God, what are you doing? Just breathe. Okay. Really, just breathe. You're a mechanic, right? Right. You said so. Yes, I did. Why don't you just build something? <sighs> okay. Thanks, kid.
I told you to put it at 16. My fault again. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. I am not your personal <laughs> <enemy>. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> now, which one of you is the Nessie? That's me. Ah, oh, Nessie. Did you know the fortune cookies aren't even Chinese? There's some guy over here. They're made by Americans, based on the based on the Japanese recipes. Hey. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Don't move. I'm not moving. You want something? Take it. Although the guns are all fake, because those wankers wouldn't trust me with the real ones. What? Hey, do you fancy either of the birds? Hard enough. You're not him, Commander. The real guy. Where? Where's the man? Oh, Where is God. it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's here. He's here. What? But he's not here. He's here, but he's not here. He's what do you mean? Uh, it's complicated. Hey, it's complicated, it right? It is. It's complicated. I'm complicated. Ladies out. Get out of the bed. Get in the bathroom. Sit. My name is Trevor. Trevor Slattery. What are you? What are you, decoy? You're a double, right? Well, the name I'm studying, no, absolutely not. Don't hurt the face. I'm an actor. You got a minute to live, Philip, with words. Just a roll? The Mandarin? See, it's not real. Then how did you get here, Trevor? Um, well, I, um, had a little problem with, um, substances, and I ended up, um, doing things, no two ways about it, in the street, that a man shouldn't do. Next. And then, they approached me about the role, and they knew about the drugs. What did they say? They get you off them? Said they'd give me more. They gave me things. They gave me this palace. They gave me plastic surgery. They gave me things. Did you just nod off? Hey. No, a lovely speedboat. And the thing was, he needed someone to take credit for some accidental explosions. He? Killian? Killian. He created you. He created me. Custom made terror threat. Yes. Yes. His think tank thinks it up. Uh, the pathology of a serial killer. The manipulation of Western iconography. Ready for another lesson? Blah, blah, blah. Of course, it was my performance brought the Mandarin to life. Your performance? 
Where people died? No. Mm -hmm. look, look around you, costumes, green screen. Oh, honestly, I wasn't on location for half this stuff when I was a movie magic club. I'm sorry, man. I got a best friend who's in a coma and he might not wake up. So you're gonna have to answer for that. You're still going down, pal. Get it? <laughs> Okay, Trevor, what did you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. Nothing? No. Should have pressed the panic button. Well, I panicked, but then I handled it. Huh? Oh, yeah. With zip ties. It's a ball. It wasn't my idea. Okay, so you took Killian's card. I took his money. And here you are, 13 years later, in your dungeon. No. Yeah. No, you're in a dungeon. I'm free to go. Yeah. A lot's happened, Tony. I'm close. Extremis is practically stable. I'm telling you, it isn't. I'm on the street. People are going bang. You're painting the walls, Maya. You're kidding yourself. And help me fix it. Can I do that? Yes. I remember the night, not the morning. Is this what you've been chasing around? You don't remember? Can't help you. You used to have a moral psychology. You used to have ideals. One to help people. Now look at you. I get to wake up every morning with someone who still has their soul. Get me out of here. Come on. You know what my old man used to say to me? One of his favorite of many sayings. The early bird gets the worm. The second mouse gets the cheese. You're still pissed off about the Switzerland thing, are you? How can I be pissed at you, Tony? I'm here to thank you. You gave me the greatest gift that anybody's ever given me. Desperation. If you think back to Switzerland, you said you'd meet me on the rooftop, right? Well, for the first 20 minutes, I actually thought you'd show up. And the next hour, I... Well, I considered taking that one-step shortcut to the lobby. You know what I mean? Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out what happened to the first mouse. But as I looked out over that city, nobody knew I was there. Nobody could see me. No one was even looking. I had a thought that would guide me for years to come. Anonymity, Tony. Thanks to you, it's been my mantra ever since, right? You simply rule behind the scenes. Because the second you give evil a face, a Bin Laden, a Gaddafi, a Mandarin, you hand the people a target. You're something else. You haven't met him, I assume. Yeah, Sir Lawrence Oblivier. I know he's a little over the top sometimes. It's not entirely my fault. He has a 10 p He's a stage actor. They say his leer was the toast of Croydon, wherever that is. Anyway, the point is, ever since that big dude with a hammer fell out of the sky, 
Subtlety's kind of had its day. What's next for you and your world? Well, I wanted to repay you the self-same gift that you so graciously imparted to me. Desperation. Now, this is live. I'm not sure if you can tell. But at this moment, the body is trying to decide whether to accept extremis or just give up. And if it gives up, I have to say, the detonation is, is quite spectacular. But until that point, it's really just a lot of pain. We haven't even talked salary yet. What kind of perk package are you thinking of? Let him go. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Maya. I said let him go! What are you doing? 1200 cc's, a dose half of this size, I'm dead. It's times like this my temper is tested somewhat. Maya, give me the injector. If I die, Killian, what happens to your... Soldiers, what happens to your product? We're not doing this, okay? What happens to you? What happens if you go too hot? <laughs> the good news is... high-level position has just been vacated. You are a maniac. No, I'm a visionary. But I do own a maniac. And he takes the stage tonight. Once we get the Patriot installed, it'll take me nine, ten minutes for a takedown. Well, that's great. The last time I looked, there was somebody inside of it. <laughs> Hello, Colonel. Step aside. Oh, we'll get you out of there. Don't worry. You damage the arm. Yes, I will. You can fix it, right? I'm gonna take the ship up to base camp. I don't want Potts with me. She's still in phase two. You're not going to death, are you? Careful there. It's a limited edition. Hey, uh, Ponytail Express. What's the mileage count between Tennessee and Miami? 832 miles. Very nice. I'm good like that. Can you, uh, stop that? Break it, you bought it. Thinking about it. Okay, that wasn't mine to give away. That belongs to my friend's sister. And that's why... I'm gonna kill you first. What are you gonna do to me? You'll see. You're zip tied to a bed. This. That. Are you coming up? Do not open, do not open. Don't open, don't open. Don't open. All right, let's go. You, you breathe fire? Okay. 
It's a glorious day, Seven. This time tomorrow, I'll have the West's most powerful leader in one hand, and the world's most feared terrorist in the other. I'll own the war on terror. Create supply and demand. You, your brothers and sisters. Trust me, you're gonna be in a puddle of blood on the ground in five, four, three, come on! Two! How did we get this ship? All right, I'm gonna give you a chance to escape. Put down your weapons. Tie yourselves to those chairs. I'll let you live. In five, four, bang! Wow. That was... You should be gone by now. You should have already have been gone. I am just beyond terrified. Here it comes. Three, four... Shut up. Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I hate working here. They are so weird. Oh, better late than never. At this time, not to finish. Oh, it's good to be back. Hello, by the way. Oh, hello, sir. Let's go. That was you in the suit? No. You got yours? Uh, mm, kind of. Main house, fast as you can. Somebody had lucky to me. You, 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 move! Get out! Room is secure. I have eyes on the mandarin. What's this? I had winners. <laughs> You come out. You make a move, I break your face. I never thought people had been hurt. They lied to me. This is the Mandarin? No, no, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. Hi, Trevor. Trevor Slatter. Trey. I know I'm shorter in person, a bit smaller. Everyone says that. But, um, hey, if you're here to arrest me, uh, there's some people I'd like to roll on. In Here's me. our works, Mouth Street. You tell him where Pepper is and he'll stop doing it. Doing what? Oh, I get it. Ow, that hurt. I get it. I get it. I don't know about any Pepper, but 
I know about the plan. Spill. You know what they did to my suit? What? No. But I do know it's happening off the coast. Something to do with um, a big boat. I can take you there. I swear to God, I'm gonna blow his face off. Oh, and this next bit may include the vice president as well. Is that, is that important? Somewhat. Yeah, a little bit. So, what are we gonna do? When we don't have any transport. Hey, Ringo, didn't you say something about a lovely speedboat? We read about the location where 20 minutes from where Pepper is. We also have to figure out this vice president thing, right? right. I wonder who I'm calling right now. Oh, that's the vice president. Thanks. Hello? Sir, this is Tony Stark. Welcome back to the land of the living. We believe you're about to be drawn into the Mandarin campaign, and we got to get you somewhere safe as soon as possible. Mr. Stark, I'm about to eat honey roast ham surrounded by the agency's finest. The president's safe on Air Force One with Colonel Rose. I think we're good here. Sir, this is Colonel Rose. They're using the Iron Patriot as a Trojan horse. They're going to take out the president somehow. We have to immediately alert that plane. Okay, I'm on an Alex security. Lock it down. If need be, they can have F-22s in here in 30 seconds. Thank you, Colonel. Road to start, Cal. Everything okay, sir? Couldn't be better. Glad to see you. you can make it, son. I feel safer already. We gotta make a decision. We can either save the president or Pepper. We can't do both. So I have an update from Malibu. The cranes have finally arrived and the cellar doors are being cleared as we speak. And what about the suit I'm wearing? The armor is now at 92%. That's what I have to do. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Get a quick picture. Quick picture. This one's been compromised. Internal shots, temperature spikes. Give me eyes on it now. Image coming through now, sir. Was that Rhodes?
president. Now. He's not here. Try the jet stream. Speaking of which, go fish. Some good news, man. I think they all made it. Oh, thank God. Yeah, but I missed the president. You couldn't save the president with the suit. How are we gonna save Pepper with nothing? Uh, see, Jarvis, is it that time? The house party protocol, sir. Correct.
He's gonna help you. He won't. Having you here is not just to motivate Tony Stark. It's, um, it's actually more embarrassing than that. You're here as my, uh, trophy. Two years ago, the elephant in the room was the scow. This is the rock song, no? And of course, you'll remember that when she spilled a million gallons of crude off Pensacola, thanks to you, not one fat cat saw a day in court. What do you want from me? Uh, nothing, sir. I just needed a reason to kill you that would play well on TV. You see, I've moved on. I found myself a new political patron, and this time tomorrow, you'll have your job. String him up. Hey! Give me cameras A from E, we'll do a full tech rehearsal. Is your gun up? Yep. What do I do? Stay on my six, cover high, and don't you see the back. High, back, back. from the bulb? You can't hit a bulb at this distance. Hey, Mark. Come in, come in. You got extra magic. They're not universal, Tony. I know what I'm doing. I make this stuff. Give me another one. I have Here's... one that fits that gun. You got, like, five of them. I right, zoom in now. Time to spot. Ready? What'd you say? Too fast. Nothing. Here we go. <laughs> One girl, armed. Gotta kill for some armor right now. You're right. We need backup. Yeah, bunch. You know what? Is is that? Yep. 
those. Yeah. Heat signatures disable with extreme prejudice. Yes. We're waiting for it. it's Christmas. Take him to church. This is how we're managing your downtime. Everybody needs a hobby. Sorry, they're they're only coded to me. What does that mean? I got you covered. <laughs> Good evening, Cup. Can I give you a lift? They're funny. <laughs> Girlfriends. You're such a jerk. Yep, we'll talk about over dinner. <gasps> Come on, a little more, Danny. bothering you?
Curtis. Give me a suit right now. <clears throat> Good, Mr. President, but I'm gonna need that suit back. <laughs> President is secure, Tony. I'm clearing the area. Nice work. Ready, sir? What do you mean, Rick? <laughs>
So close to having her. Perfect. You're right. I don't deserve her. Here's where you're wrong. She was already perfect. <laughs> favor and blow mark 22. My 12 o'clock is not a target. Disengage! What? Oh, what, are you mad at me? scared the devil out of me. I thought you were. I was dead. Why? Because I fell 200 feet? Who's the hot mess now? Still debatable. Probably tipping your way a little bit. Why don't you dress like this at home? Hmm? Spork bra, the whole deal. You know, I think I understand why you don't want to give up the suits. What am I going to complain about now? 
Well, it's me. I'll think of something. Come no, don't touch me. No, no, wait, wait. no, I'm gonna burn you. No, no, no. Not hot. It'll be okay. No. You're in a relationship with me. Everything will never be okay. But I think I can figure this out, yeah. I almost had this 20 years ago when I was drunk. I think I can get you better. That's what I do, I fix stuff. And all your distractions? Uh, I'm gonna shave them down a little bit. Jarvis. Hey, all wrapped up here, sir. Will there be anything else? You know what to do. The clean slate protocol, sir? It's screwed, it's Christmas. Yes. Yes. So far, you like it? I don't do. And so, as Christmas morning began, my journey had reached its end. start with something pure, something exciting, then come the mistakes, the compromises. We create our own demons. Oh. As promised, I got Pepper sorted out, took some tinkering, but then I thought to myself, why stop there? Of course, there are people who say progress is dangerous, but I'll bet none of those idiots ever had to live with a chest full of shrapnel. And now, neither will I. Let me tell you, that was the best sleep I'd had in years. Okay.
so if I were to wrap this up, tie it with a bow, whatever, I guess I'd say my armor, it was never a distraction or a hobby. It was a cocoon. And now, I'm a changed man. my house, all my tricks and toys, one thing you can't take away, I am Iron Man.